Engineer 775, I never know what I'm going to find myself doing these days. Here is an attempt, it might be a good one, at a Faraday cage for a generator. A little Isuzu that we've just plucked out of its Faraday cage with a really impressive fan air intake. Um, I just don't know if this was thought out too well because this was going to be living quarters. And uh, so we're going to we're going to move this generator to a safer place. Um, there was going to be a really big fuel tank here, uh, 3,000 gallons of, of diesel fuel. I just, if I was down where I am right now, I wouldn't want to. I don't think I would want to be down here living with this Isuzu. So <laughs> yeah, I'm about 20 to 25 feet. In the ground right now real neat stuff down here just trying to fix it redeem it and do it in a way that's a little bit safer hey when he opened the hatch I got my text messages so we're I must be a Faraday cage oh I feel a good draft coming now finally some fresh air Whew. been down here for a long time I gotta get out of here you gotta climb up the hole send a canary send a Okay, we need to get a generator up and out of here, up there, without tearing it up. A little 15 kW diesel. It's our job for today. We do some crazy jobs, but we have fun. Engineer 775 here. We're on a search and rescue mission to remove a generator and pull a well pump. And uh, I gave a sketch to my buddy Brian here of something I wanted to try, and he went and built it. And we're calling it the high lifter jib as an accessory to a mini excavator. This has the short version on it. We're going to use it to lift and pull a generator that is 30 feet under the ground. We'll pull that generator out. We're going to test it. Okay, we've got our high lifter jib connection here with our cable down to our generator and the trickiest part will be getting it up here and then uh and hopefully she'll slide right up there so here we go okay. all right we've got the generator point in the general direction <laughs> removal we've doubled up our cable so we have twice the pulling power in our snatch block Abraham, how we doing we're about to find out <laughs> Okay, let's get out of this thing. Okay, she's way down there. We're about 28 feet underground. Good thing we doubled up, I think. Yep. I guarantee you it's a good thing we doubled up. I'm gonna go set my throttle up somewhere else. Charge. All right. With the high lifter, the, we are running directly off of the, the batteries of the mini excavator so we can keep the battery up. Oh my goodness. I guess we're recording. All right, we got her up to the tipping point. Let's set her down before we lose her. Where's it going? Back here, truck. They got his trailer. Oh yeah, a little baby plucked right out of there. All right, we've retrieved the little Isuzu three-cylinder with a pancake generator head on it <coughs> oh my so as we continue the search and rescue mission for the little Isuzu generator we are back at the shop trying to uh, prime it I've got a little fuel pump it's actually pumping water through the return to prime this little baby we got batteries hooked up we had to reconnect our controller here we got a we have uh, use the glow plugs and we can start this thing. It says it only has 43 hours on it, but it's been sitting for five years. 
So we're gonna see if we can get it running. And then we're gonna hook this thing, which is, I'm, I'm more excited about this. Check this out. This is a military load bank, a Dynamite 300, 300 kW. And it is a resistive load bank. So you use these to mimic or simulate loads, controlled loads on your generators. So you can load test anything up to 300 kilowatts, single phase, three phase. It is a Dynamite 300 portable load bank on a trailer. This thing is awesome. Um, so the leads are here that you hook to your generator. So we're gonna hook our generator once we get it running. We're gonna put a load on it. We're gonna let it run for a little bit. It hasn't run in a long time. This is cool. This is really cool. I've seen another one of these where it was kind of a homemade job. It wasn't too impressive, but it worked for them. This one is a legit load bank. So I'm excited. So we should be able to, through a combination of resistors, I don't know if it goes down that low. Oh yeah, no, 240. We can go down in ranges. I have never run one of these. So we're either gonna blow something up or it's gonna work. And uh, obviously there's a fan to get the heat off the resistors. You have your frequency. You can set your generator on your 60, 61 hertz ammeter and voltmeter. We got a problem with one of these switches here. We, we might just clamp to get the amps going out to it. So we're on 120, 240, master load, and here we have all these different switches. So got to kind of study this a little bit to figure out what we're going to set it to. Injectors are bad. <laughs> 